What's up everyone, Mr. NoobTubeGamer. Today we're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in 2024, 13 years later. The game definitely still has a lot of players in 2024, so you don't have to worry about there not like being anybody if you try to get into a match. So that's good. That's honestly like the most important thing when we're talking about these old ass games in 2024 is not necessarily the gameplay, not necessarily how it holds up, has it aged well, whatever. It's so really, are people still playing? The answer is yes, although not as many as Modern Warfare 2, which I honestly don't think is very surprising considering that Modern Warfare 3 is just a simple copy and paste of Modern Warfare 2, just with better balancing, obviously, because MW2 was crazy with the one-man army, danger close, last stand, fucking all that shit. Like, it was, it was pretty bad, so... You know, there's some people who actually prefer Modern Warfare 3 over Modern Warfare 2 just because of how much the balancing has improved dramatically. Even though there's still some bullshit in there, like the IMS, and even though they took out Last Stand, they replaced it with Final Stand, which wasn't much better. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's still fun in 2024. Obviously, the graphics don't look as good as a modern Call of Duty game. Like, if we're comparing the old Modern Warfare 3 to the new Modern Warfare 3... Obviously, the new Modern Warfare 3 looks a lot better, but does it play better? Definitely not. I still think that the old classic Call of Duty games are the best Call of Duty experience that you can have, even to this day. And Modern Warfare 3 is no different. Even though it's not my favorite, I would say of all the classic games from the golden age of Call of Duty, which most people consider Call of Duty 4 to Black Ops 2, MW3 is by far my least favorite of all of them. But that's not to say that I still don't have fun playing from time to time. I always had a very hard time playing this game for the longest time because of the matchmaking with backwards compatibility, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It was fucked up for a very, very long time. But now it is fixed. It got fixed multiple times, but, you know, like every, every now and then it gets messed up again, but it still works a lot better than it did for the longest time. I think that's just because Microsoft, since they're running Call of Duty now, they're actually fixing some things, which is great. But I need to make this clear. The only version of Modern Warfare 3 that you should even consider playing in 2024 is the Xbox version, not the PC or PS3 version. They are not worth your time. Now, the PC version, MW3 does have a hacker-free version because if you play the original vanilla experience, you will run into hackers, and some of them will probably be able to steal your personal information, although it's very unlikely, it's still possible, so I stay very clear from the Steam version, but there's Plutonium, which is a custom client that you guys may be familiar with, but I don't really fuck with these custom clients on PC. It's a common experience across all these games, is that it just isn't the same game that the original was. It, it just has, like, all these custom fucking things in it. A lot of snipers. When you have keyboard and mouse and PC, everybody is sniping. And it's obnoxious as hell. And it's also not 6v6. It's always, like, 18, 20, 24 player servers. And not even, like, the vanilla game. It has all these custom maps and weapons and shit where it's just... It's not MW3. Some people may like that, but I hate it so much. And then with the FOV and all that shit, it just looks wanky as hell. I'm not I'm not a fan of the PC version, the PC experience in Modern Warfare 3. It's just not good. PS3 version is also not good. More specifically, if you have not played Modern Warfare 3 before January 2019, that's when the PSN name change feature rolled out. And it fucked up a lot of online Call of Duty games and just a lot of games in general. But the PS3 got hit really hard by servers just not working properly. So even if your PSN account was created before 2019, it doesn't matter. If you didn't log into Modern Warfare 3 before that time, you will not be able to connect to the server at all. At least in Modern Warfare 2, you could connect on the PS3, but you couldn't like rank up. Like well, they, it, You ranked up, but then if you logged back in your entire progress was reset and you know that was bad enough now you can't even get into the game at all on ps3 and it doesn't seem like there's any workaround i looked it up and i couldn't find anything so yeah stay away from ps3 stay away from pc xbox is the only viable option in my opinion if you want the original true modern warfare 3 experience with no hackers no server problems nothing like that it plays very well in 2024. Granted, the player base is very small. It's mostly confined to Team Deathmatch, but I think, you know, that's just par for the course with these older games. It's not really a surprise. 
and you kind of know what you're getting into when you're playing a game from 2011 on the Xbox 360, even if it's backwards compatible. It's like, yeah, not everyone's going to be playing that shit still, you know? And like most of the classic Call of Duty games on 360, people are still playing the DLC maps. Now, be careful if you want to buy the DLC because there is one map pack. I forget which one it is because it's like collection one, two, three, and four. One of the map packs is all 2v2 face-off maps, which... I'm, I wasn't a big fan of Face-Off in MW3. They were really trying so hard to make it, like, the next big thing in COD. And it kind of did become a thing later on. Like, Modern Warfare 2019 sort of brought it back. But back in 2011, nobody gave a shit. And, yeah, that, that whole DLC is just 2v2 maps. Nobody bought it, including me. Like, that's the one DLC pack in all of Call of Duty that I have never purchased. But three out of four of the map packs have regular 6v6, and they're pretty good maps, and people do still play them in 2024, as you could see in the gameplay, because both of the maps that I played for this video were DLC. And even though this version of Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have zombies, it has its own thing, Survival Mode, which is actually probably the best non-zombies third game mode that has ever existed in Call of Duty, like as far as co-op is concerned. Yeah, I'd say MW3 survival mode is the second best thing that they have ever come up with aside from zombies. And the single player is great, a pretty good conclusion to the MW3 trilogy, definitely a much better campaign than what we got in 2023 MW3. So that shit was just slapped together and no real effort was put in there. So yeah, with this Modern Warfare 3, Great multiplayer, great single player, and a good co-op mode. So there's plenty for you to do in this game if you decide to play it in 2024. But if you're someone like me that originally played Modern Warfare 2 and you enjoyed that multiplayer, you're gonna feel pretty bored pretty quickly because it's literally like a copy and paste. If if Modern Warfare 3, the new one, is a ripoff and copy and paste of the 2022 Modern Warfare 2, well, <laughs> this is just a blatant ripoff of the original Modern Warfare 2. But they did it on purpose because they were rushed, the development, the uh, so many employees walked out and they quit Infinity Ward and they had to kind of scramble to put the game together. So it makes sense from a development perspective. Modern Warfare 3, the new one, they were just completely lazy and out of ideas and it was like, well, we have to have a COD game this year and we're gonna do Modern Warfare 3, developed by the worst COD developer of all time, Sledgehammer Games, oh my God. like. With Modern Warfare 3, they were they did okay, meaning this game, but it just got progressively worse as they kept developing games. Advanced Warfare, <laughs> then COD World War 2, which they eventually fixed, but for the longest time, it was one of the worst CODs of all time. And then Vanguard came out a few years after, and it is one of the worst Call of Duty's of all time. Definitely one of the worst World War 2 games I've ever played, where you have fucking laser weapons and Snoop Dogg, like, come on. <laughs> In a World War 2 game, I I'm good. And the gameplay just sucks, never mind all that other bullshit. So, yeah, but Modern Warfare 3, I would say, is like the only decent game that Sledgehammer's ever come out with, which is sad. But, yeah, it's the truth. So, hey, let me know, uh, do you guys still play Modern Warfare 3 in 2024? And how would you rank it among all the Call of Duty games?